Hi. Now in this question, we're asked to express 1 all divided by r times r plus 2 in partial fractions. So if you'd like to uh, have a go at this and haven't done so already, in the usual way, just pause the video, come back when ready. You can either fast forward to the end to check your answer or just take your time and you can see a tutorial on this. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, what we need to do is just copy down what we're given. So uh, we'll just say let okay, 1 divided by r multiplied by r plus 2. I say let because what I'm going to do is to split this into partial fractions. I'm going to say it's identical to, and we look at the types of factors we've got here. And in each of these cases, these are called linear factors. And when you get a linear factor, you always have fractions of the form a constant, which you can give it as any letter you like. I'm going to call it A. And you divide it by each of those linear factors. So you've got A divided by R. And then you've got plus another constant, which you might as well call B. And we divide that by the other linear factor, R plus 2. Now we need to work out what A and B are. And the best way we can do this generally is to always multiply both sides with what you have in the denominator over here. So if we multiply throughout by R times R plus 2, then what we're going to have here is simply 1. And it's going to be identical to, and if we take this term, the R will cancel out into R times R plus 2, leaving us with A multiplied by R plus 2. And for this fraction here, when we come to multiply this with R times R plus 2, the R plus 2 will cancel out with the R plus 2 here and leave you with B times R. Now, we've got to work out what A and B are. And when you've got something like this in an identity, there's several ways that you can do this. But what we want to do is avoid simultaneous equations if possible. It just will slow us down. And we can avoid that by making this term 0 or this term 0. And to make this term 0, all I've got to do is letter r equals 0. So that's where we start here. And that is to let r equal 0. And if we do that, we've got 1 equals, and putting 0 here just leaves us with 2a. And this term will go out as 0. So you can see it follows from here that a must equal a half. We can make this term here 0 by letting this factor be 0, choosing r to equal minus 2. So if we let r equal minus 2, then what we've got again is 1 equals, and this will be 0, but if we have r as minus 2 here, we get minus 2b. And again, if you divide this time by both sides by minus 2, you end up with b equaling minus 1 half. So we can substitute these values in, and we have 1 over r times r plus 2 is identical then to having a over r. a is a half. Now instead of writing a half over r, if we times top and bottom by 2, we end up with 1 over 2r. Hold back from the plus until you've checked your b value. b is minus a half, so you've got minus a half over r plus 2, which reduces to minus 1 divided by 2 times r plus 2. All right.